After years in the making, the Navy will officially commission its newest aircraft carrier Saturday. President Donald Trump will preside over the ceremony aboard the Gerald R. Ford. President Ford's daughter is in town for the big event. And tonight on your side's Erin Kelly talked to her about her father's namesake. Before he passed away, President Gerald Ford learned that the Navy's newest aircraft carrier would be named after him. On board today, his daughter said he was astounded and that there were reminders of her father all over the ship. With just days to go before commissioning, the Gerald R. Ford buzzed with activity Wednesday. The $12.9 billion nuclear-powered aircraft carrier took more than eight years to build. Susan Ford Bales, the president's daughter and ship's sponsor, was there every step of the way. I'm glad that it's finally almost here. It's been a long haul. Um, but we got it right and things have been fixed that we had issues with and so I'll be glad to get her commissioned and get her in the fleet and get her out there. All 2,600 sailors who will serve aboard have gone through a program teaching them about President Ford's life and his own Navy service in World War II, depicted in the ship's tribute room. President Ford getting this namesake means a lot more than just his presidency, but it means more to us, I think, more because of his sailor background and uh, his experiences on board uh, that, is, that have shared many with us. Bale said the placement of items related to her father's life is intentional to help sailors identify with him. There's pictures of him in the gym, playing golf, swimming, doing athletic things. On display in the commanding officer's cabin, the flag from President Ford's funeral. Bale said her father would have this advice for the crew. Um, honor your country and have integrity. You know, let's remember the motto is integrity at the helm. And I think that's what he would want them to do. The commissioning ceremony is scheduled for Saturday morning here at Naval Station Norfolk. President Donald Trump, the Chief of Naval Operations, and Defense Secretary Jim Mattis are among those expected to attend. In Norfolk, Erin Kelly, 10 on your side. And 10 on your side will have team coverage of Saturday's event on air and also online.